Hey, you guys. Oh, it's a sad, sad night. I just lost my great grandmother. The light, light, bright one. That's my great grandmother, and then that's my grandmother. My great grandmother lived to be 99 years old. She would have made 100 in April. She held on for a long time. God favored that woman. Because, you know, it's a lot of people in this world. They don't get to live to see that age. She done, you know, seen a lot of her friends and, you know, people in her life pass away. And she was still there. 99 years old. So, when I say the glue that kept them together, and you know my grandmother, she she was a, she, you know they call it that, gorilla glue. <laughs> yeah. So I know this is painful for my grandmother. My grandmother. <sighs> my great grandmother had 14 children. 14 children. Her and her husband was together since what? You know how them people be back in the old days. They get married young. They was together until he went on to glory. So, I just sit here in this, um, you know, all the little petty ass arguments I had. Wasted energy, wasted time. Could have been focused on something else. But it's just to redirect on going forward, going to the future. And I'm not going to say that you may not have arguments or whatever, but try my hardest to ignore the shit. You know, we do have trolls out here. And you know, people just evil. But I never, I never, I never, ever argue or pick on petty with somebody for no reason. Maybe it's not be the reason that they make things acceptable, but I know truly it was acceptable because I never start shit. Because I don't believe in karma. I don't never start shit. But I will some way finish it. I will get my point across I will get my voice heard either if they like it or don't like it but I never start shit with nobody and they would say oh, oh that's what she get who who her said to my face I mean not social media said to my face But yeah, sit here and reflect on wasted time and wasted energy. 99 years old, you taking off days off your life doing some negative shit, focusing on negative shit. And we supposed to be grown. Shouldn't be out here doing this shit. I shouldn't be out here doing this shit. But it is what it is. It's better out the end. Cause you keep it bottled up. It's like a ticking time bomb. You know, and a person that come across you for some for the littlest tiniest thing might get all of that pent up energy that was meant possibly for someone else. So I just come to y'all today and say, you know, and I always say this, even um not in situations like this, but on my past um videos when we have like serious conversations, I always say y'all I always say, not just because this day, y'all, but I always said, 
people in your life, your family, friends, whoever, but mainly your mainly your family, if you have not spoken to them in years, whatever may have happened, I don't care if it's your fault or their fault, speak to them. And if it's something that y'all cannot speak upon, that, that can y'all can come back together, then I don't know what to say to y'all. But it may be some trauma, some real deep down trauma that there's no coming back from. But if y'all can't savage your relationship, well, like I said, uh, uh, your loved one, family member, your friend, whoever, speak to them. Because you, you never know. You never know. You never know. I speak to my family members almost not every day, but I, talk, I probably would text them. But I keep that line of communication open. I'm just texting you, you know, to see how you doing, hey, and stuff like that. Or I'm just calling to say hi, how you doing, you know, shit like that. And speak of a conversation. Or it might seem like a, a one of them images with a quote on it. Just let them know. I'm thinking about you. Even if you were a thousand miles away. I know our relationship may have not been, you know, perfect. But it's okay. We may not like each other. And it's still okay. But, you know, ain't nothing too big that we can't you know squash to 99 years old she held on to the last minute she held on to the last minute oh so I'm up here in this venting to my kings and my queens, my family. Let me know that I don't know all y'all that come to view my content. The ones who in the comments. I don't know I don't know y'all. But I always tell y'all that I love you. Cause you may not heard them words today. You may not heard it in a long time. Even though we don't know each other, let me send out that love. You heard it from a stranger. Yeah. So like I always say, y'all, it's a thing called life. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. But put your faith in God. He will see you through. He is all understanding. God love you and I love you. But I hope you love yourself even more. Because keep it in mind, it will get greater later. Because it is a thing called life. And sometimes it is hard. There's nobody out there in this world that had a easy ice skating life. Even the people that got millions of dollars. They even had an easy life. Everybody go through it. But long as you got somebody there that can go through it with you. And I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. Yo. I'm not always that ha ill, ignorant, ghetto ass, ratchet girl. I speak with some sense when I want to. But yeah, y'all. Go grab your loved ones and tell you love them. Do not let it linger overnight. It doesn't matter what was said, what was done. Because the man upstairs, he forgave all of us. And some of us wake up and don't thank him. Go to bed, don't thank him. Eat your food, don't thank him. You live in your house, you don't thank him. All the stuff that you have is because of him. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how talented you are. All the things that you have encountered in your life is because of the man upstairs. 
it all can be gone in a blink of an eye. So don't take for granted nothing. And I always say that too. I always have said that too. Like I said, sometimes I get on here and I may not seem like I know him. But he knows my heart. I said that too. But y'all looking at the person from this uh, last few weeks and judging me for the last few weeks. But don't know the whole story. But it's okay. I let go and let God deal with it. Because in a day, like I said, they talked about him. He died for all of us sinful creatures. Yeah, when, I, when I'm petty, I'm petty. Regardless of what have said and what was done behind closed doors or behind closed, um, you know, rooms, I'm not aware. And don't care because it was done behind my back, not in my face. Because I stand ten toes down to the ground on anything I said and do and done. I don't hide shit because that's not how I'm built. That woman in the brown always tell me, stand on your shit. People may not like it, but as long as you true to yourself, speak your mind, they may not like what you say, but they didn't like him either. He had enemies in his own camp. Judas his own disciples so this man going around healing people giving out blessings and he had an enemy in his own camp and he was aware of it but what he do he still loved him he knowing knowingly knowing that this man is a snake. He is going to cause my demise. But God still opened up his arms. And allowed his man to eat with him. With the last supper. No I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. I'm just hurting. Because when you go through stuff like this. You do re reflect. On, on shit that happened. But it's okay. It will, it will be okay. It will be okay. It will be okay. So again, y'all, like I said, take care of yourself. Let it go. I wish I would have let it go. But can't do what was already done. Can't bring it back. I can't bring it back. As long as you stand on what you stood in, you acknowledge it. You took accountability. And I did all that. So again, like I said, whatever else is not on me. Because I acknowledged it. I took accountability. And I moved on. I hope y'all kings and queens out there. I hope y'all have a wonderful, safe, blessed night, day, evening, whenever you decide to come across this upload. You know? Because a lot of people don't make it to the age of 99 years old. Oh, life, but it depends on how you live it. These YouTube streets got a lot of mofos out here doing the unthinkable to each other. But I don't mind my business. Because they don't concern me. I might watch it. Uh, 
but the comments, they don't concern me. You know, they don't concern me. Because it's, 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 it is what it is. Yeah, like I said, it don't concern me. But I hope y'all, kings and queens, y'all have a, a good night. And don't forget that, you know, God love you. And I love you too. Yeah. Yeah. Take me to the king. Don't have much to bring. My heart's torn in pieces. my offering. Take me to the king. Don't have